Hi guys, my name is Klitso, Klitso the Bear, and today I'm going to react to Freddy Fazbear vs. Schizo the Bear Ultra Brawl by Kelly Queen, King Queen. And if you want to see more, please like this guy. Let's do this. the show let's do this what's going on everyone welcome to another episode of ultra brawl i'm your host kenny king and tonight's battle we actually have two animators working on this yine cat pop tart and tyson the skeleton by the way yine cat pop tart made the schizo sprite sheet so i suggest you go check out their channels and subscribe speaking of tonight's battle we have a battle between the two killer bears freddy fazbear bear and schizo, schizo the bear, bear. my now, brother this is going to be an interesting matchup, also, I should this is say. So, let's get into Kitty the Grace. next round of Fighters. Freddy Fazbear was just your normal mm. animatronic that worked at Freddy Fazbear's Pizza until one day, a strange man in purple killed five children. One of the five children went to the Freddy Fazbear suit, and now it possesses that suit, giving light to the well-known character we know as... Freddy Fazbear. Freddy Fazbear is able to casually crack open skulls and bones thanks to his bear teeth alone. But if he really needs to amp it up, then he has the Toxic Bite and his Mega Bite from FNAF World. Freddy also All does right. have some electricity and manipulation, being able to shut down phones, and he is able to use his casual jump scare once the phone or lights are shut off. He's also able to teleport around his own pizzeria. He's also uh -huh. a very, very skilled gunman because he can use his laser gun in Freddy in Space 2. Freddy can also throw his microphone, and it has Pizza Wheel, just like in FNAF World. And also in FNAF World, he has Power Song and Heal mm. Song. But if he really, really needs some more extra firepower, he has the Amp Move, which deals tons of damage to his opponents, shown uh -huh. in FNAF World Halloween Edition. Freddy has taken down many enemies in the past, but none of those enemies are like these three, being the FNAF World Rainbow, Scott Kaufman himself twice, and Lol's Hacks. These three are really strong, but out of all of them, Scott Kaufman is definitely the most powerful because he is the one who created the FNAF universe, which means Freddy Fazbear is universal level at best. Uh. But he did need some help from his other friends so he can get the job done. But now we move on to weaknesses, and his most notable weakness is his durability. He is a 38 animatronic, meaning that he isn't really that durable. Uh -huh. And hell, he really needs help from friends to get the job done if he is taking on a giant threat. But this battle, he is all alone. So we're gonna go ahead and see what he does in this fight. Overall, Freddy is the defender of the galaxy and was able to take on Scott Coffin and Lol's Hacks and Chica's Magic Rainbow with all of his abilities, but he does have some minor weaknesses that will greatly damage him in the fight. Yeah. Oh no, I know this. Please, Freddy, not right now. I don't like being jump scared. Please, be jump scared. That's fast. Was once a right time for my brother. Character. He had a bunch of shorts that appeared in the early U.S. and movie theaters, but his Weakness. cartoons were none taught They were tateable. pure evil. The cartoons may start off normal, but do not let that cuteness fool you. The longer people watch these cartoons, the more disturbing and horrific it became. Whoever watched a full Schizo the Bear cartoon, they would end up become insane, and then they would kill innocent bystanders or themselves. After yep. realizing the trouble that Schizo the Bear has caused with the public health, they decided to collect all the Schizo cartoons and burn them. This destroyed Schizo's history, reputation, yep. and it ended up sending him to hell, and mm. he still wanders in hell to this day. But he is actually in our real world right now, terrorizing others in his plushy form. 
and he will haunt you forever and ever until you kill yourself. Now, Schizo is one tough motherfucker. He can yep. literally manipulate anything around him. He can manipulate fire, water, plants, technology, anything that you Same can like imagine, me. he can manipulate it. And it's all thanks to one thing known as Toon, Toon Force. Force. Take an example like Bugs Bunny and Mickey Mouse and Felix the Cat. They can all manipulate their bodies with metamorphosis, and mm. they can I guess that's why Kitty Alice likes my brother. Whatever the hell they want, but it's nothing compared to Schizo's Toon Force, which is just blows them out of the water. His most notable attacks from his Toon Force is Skull Bat Summoning, Fire Summoning, Pubes Attacks, Tentacles, Knife Summoning, and he can turn anything into a knife. But that is nothing like his most strongest moves, like teleportation by turning himself into ink, and he can literally turn his own hair into a knife. But that is nothing compared to his red eyes. His red eyes is what scares people the most. And it's what turns him into killer yeah, schizo mode. Him. Once his sanity drops to zero, that's when you know you're fucked. Because then he will take you to a screen-like static image, and then he'll murder you with his knife and sharp teeth and claws and eat you to death. And if that isn't enough for you, he can literally turn himself into a giant yep. and murder you that way. That's how powerful this guy is. Schizo has actually befriended Tails doll, killed hey, Mickey Tails Mouse, doll. Felix Why the Cat, and Popeye uh, the Sailor Man, and he even killed race? the pal himself, Mugman. And he does have one notable loss, losing to Cuphead. But let's be honest, he only really sent him back to hell. He didn't actually kill Schizo the Bear. Now, this is the part where I usually bring up weaknesses, but he actually has no weaknesses. Yeah. Schizo the Bear is completely flawless in every way. He could just kill you no matter what. That's how strong he is. He has no limits, and he is not weak to anything. Overall, Schizo the Bear is possibly the most strongest character that is based on 1930s cartoons, and he has no limits at all. All right. Let's sell this in the Ultra Brawl. This battle will have no prep time, no outside help, and this will take place in Freddy Fazbear's Pizza. Let the battle begin. Schizo the Bear in Special Delivery. Starring my brother Schizo and starring special guest Freddy Fazbear. I want my brother to win. See him sleeping. Huh? Schizo, what was that? Huh? Huh? He's gone. Where did Freddy go? Uh, oh, that scared me. Don't do that.
No. Ah. Uh. Oh. Ow! Ow! Ah. Ow! Looks like that suit is done. Time for the final blow, brother. Looks like he won. My that. brother won. So, why does Skits of the Bear win? Well, there's a lot of things we need to discuss. Freddy's durability is really short, so there's no way he's going to be able to take on Skits of the Bear with a battered body, because a few claw swipes should be able to take Freddy down for good easily. Another thing is that Skits of the Bear could do anything that Freddy could do, but way better, and he could do many more. And lastly is Skits of the Bear's Tune Force. Freddy has never faced anyone with Tune Force before. So Schizo the Bear with 2 and 4 should be able to take Freddy down for good. Because Schizo could literally do anything he wants to do. Plus, he has no weaknesses. There's no way Freddy Fazbear can defeat Schizo the Bear. Well, I guess you could say Schizo can cross out Freddy Fazbear on the killing list. Make it the winner of this battle. Schizo the Bear. killer bear. Now, if you want to see a killer bear's free-for-all with Freddy, Schizo, Bubba the Bear, Flippy, and more, leave a like, and if this episode gets 30 likes, there will be a rematch. Also, don't forget to comment down your own ideas, and stay tuned as the next five Fighters are going to be revealed next time on I Ultra Brawl. Well, I hope you like this, Kitty Grace and Kitty Alice. Bye.